Hello everyone and welcome to a new quick look here on Higher Plane Games. My name's Simon. Today we're looking at Evil Defenders. Um, and possibly the last time that I'll be doing a video on this particular microphone. All excitement stuff, new kit coming. Uh, again, disclosure, as I do whenever I have a game that is produ uh, not produced for me. I want a game. Uh, whenever a game is said to be for review, I will always disclose it up front. It does no bearing on stuff, um, as previous reviewers have found out. Uh, Evil Defenders is, shockingly, a tower defence game. Um, and a tower defence game that I'm rather enjoying. I want not massively far in it, but I feel like I'm in it enough to give me the sense of where this game is going, essentially. Um, so, this is your main screen of home for the world. Um, it tells me how far I've got on each of the lands as I go. Each of the waypoints, and I'm not sure how many there are, I must say, uh, have several different missions that are in them. So you go for it to unlock it through standard. And that's like the story mode of it. And then you can go back to it and re-go again with Nightmare, Chaos, Hell, Inferno and Challenge. Um, each one then sending across a bigger and more heavy duty uh, level of waves of characters as you go through. So I'm going, let's go here next and let's, let's do something new, Wastelands. The sneaky enemies have taken a detour to get to the Wastelands, now they continue their pursuit under the scorching sun. So let's load this up. I really like the art style of this game. Um, it's very beautiful for a tower defence. Oh, we're, gonna, we're getting a new thing. Bomber Goblin. Uh, causes area damage, the far from the centre, less damage is caused, obviously. Um, so you can see there's a little foot up in the top right hand corner. All of these little things are stuff that I can do. Uh, goblin, goblin, goblin. Uh, no, that's a goblin. Uh, I'm going to go for one of those as well because the cannons are powerful. Um, especially when they're stuck in something. So I'll click that to release wave one of ten. Um, so you've got things will come down and round. I'm assuming they're going round in a thing to get to the exit. It looks like it, yeah. Mm. I'd like another one ten, please. Hey, there we go. Let's click off the next wave. That always gets you some extra stuff. Oh, archers. Okay. Right, I know why they're telling me all of this now. So I'm going to go for uh, the old crypt there, because that stops people doing stuff. You have little powers down on the bottom here, so if I wanted to do my little lightning strike, that helps me out quite a great deal. <laughs> Must be said. And of course, it's not a tower defence if you can't then upgrade stuff as you go along. So you can see... Each of the things that are here are upgradable. I'm going to put in a little thing there to stop people getting across. I'm going to stick another one in there. I find that the skeletons in the crypt are really good at holding enemies in a place. As you can see there. And this little enemy down here, thank you for telling me about the napalm cannon, is one that kind of self heals itself and they're a pain in the booty. So what I'm going to do in the meantime, I'm going to get my little uh, little man out, who I've just recently got, who can basically kick everyone's ass. So I'm quite pleased with that. In fact, whilst he's there, I'm going to send the next wave. Because he's only there for a certain period of time. And he'll take care of plenty of those. Not bad, Simon. Not bad at all. I'm going to upgrade you guys. So that guy is um, busy healing himself rather annoyingly. Oh, people have got through. Right, sorcery be having you then. I'm trying to show you all of the different things that I've got so far. They seem to fall under five different categories. You can see that guy is kind of almost dead. So I'm going to wait a little while just so that his health reappears as we go across the screen. So you can see the waves are up on here. So five waves and so on and so forth. Each of the places that I've got, oh, let's, let's kick them off. 
you get info about what's coming. Or oh, a fire oil. Ooh. Let's do that. <laughs> so each level that you've got, each map has like one of these little things. You can see this one's like the river of fire. Um, basically, there is like an elemental map way of hurt of hurting people, uh, but it's very much a one-off thing. And then once it's done, it's done. I'm gonna have to. This could not go very well, potentially. Yes! This is by far the most challenge that I've had so far on this game, so the, the difficulty level has suddenly ramped itself up. I think I'm probably supposed to spend more time on the earlier levels. <laughs> but I've clearly just gone whatevs um, and dived straight into it, which is, which is fine. It shows that there is definitely a challenge. does mean is I'm going to get out my little man there. I'm going to upgrade you as well because they come across you several times. So one of the beauties of the upgradings of stuff, which I think we're going to see in a second, is that once you get past, I'll upgrade this little rubber goblin next so that it's on its like third level of power. Stop healing people. <laughs> Make them angry. Um, is that after you've gone past like that level of healing, uh, not healing, uh, upgrading, is that the towers can then go off into like specialist areas. Um, and that's nothing new, specifically. I'm just going to walk that back so that he's away from everyone else, so that you can't keep healing everyone all the time. And I'll do that now with this guy. So that when I kick on that again, I've now got these different things that I can unlock, and I'll show you how you unlock those after this round, which doesn't look like it's going to be a perfect one. Must be said. Uh, I'd like one more to die, please. And one more. So that I can have a 110. Thank you. And then we'll have a old crypt to stop you at the very end. hope we can. <laughs> this is looking like I'm going to get my first bit of damage in this whole game. I've not actually had anyone make the end before. But these guys are. And so you can see my health will now start to get hit down there. Oh, it was on wave 10. Okay. Well, that wasn't too bad. No, go back. <laughs> and unleash the beast. I do love the beast. But as you can see with each of these different things you've got three different things that I can then unlock at the end for them to be. So that was just telling me the things that I'd now unlocked for this new level um, which is quite handy. Yeah, die. <laughs> I'm not having it. He's going to have to die. Thank you. <laughs> Steam achievement. Thank you very much. Completing the wasteland level. Um, I wonder how many stars I get. Oh, two. Okay, not too bad. That will do. So that will unlock a new map for me to play on. Um, but it looks like I'm not quite powered enough to really push on forward at full pace. Because I've only got the two stars available there. And I could dive into... Paladin's Crossroad, but I'm not going to. So you can see I've done the first three levels in the first level, the first two in that one, so you clearly need to do like several times over to get stuff along. 
So the other reason why I really, really enjoy and like this game is this whole upgrade system, which is down on here. So not only are you upgrading and dealing with currency of uh, coins in the actual uh, maps themselves, you then get like these weird little ghosty ghoul things, which you then spend to actually upgrade uh, for like an RPG type system um, of levelling up the actual towers themselves. Um, and these stay permanent throughout all of the games that you uh, play um, and throughout the game. And that's why it's quite useful to then go back and replay levels because you're essentially gaining more XP to then spend on your towers. So for each of the towers that you're unlocking, they've all got their own little skill trees and you have to have had a certain amount of stars uh, earned over across the levels that you've got before things become unlocked for you to be able to buy them. So it's gated really, really nicely. Um, and quite naturally as well, because it doesn't feel like it's running ahead of you. So, if I'm playing with the little uh, goblin archers, so I could spend more money to increase the radius of their impact. I could just increase their damage by spending 230 of these, but I've only got 398, so I don't want to spend too much. Uh, that's decreasing the price, uh, which... I may well do actually, let's spend on that. You can see that I've spent one upgrade on that, whereas I've spent three on trying to get the radius up. If I go across to the skeletons, that's regenerating their, uh, if they die, increasing their warrior's defense, their health, uh, the actual tower cost I've done a couple of times, I'm not going to do anything with those. Um, increase the radius of impact. Radial penalty, so the further away you hit, the more damage you get. The chance to stun an enemy is quite good. Um, and all oh, increased damage by four, that could be quite useful. So in fact, actually, I will spend that on that, because that's the most kind of powerful thing so far. So for each of the things that you do, you've got that along. I've not really used this uh, specific one. It's a little lizard that basically um, slows people down. So, can it add anything else? Or oh, reduce defense. Hmm, okay. So it can make people weaker. That could be interesting at a later point. So that kind of progress between upgrading your towers over the course of the games to make them much more stronger, um, along with actually having to manage your finances and building in the actual tower defense stuff, is the real crux of this game and the reason why I'm really 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 enjoying it and I'm giving it two thumbs up already even though I'm really relatively early on in the game. Um, what it does mean is that you can sit and uh, if I go back to let's go back to Nightmare uh, and give this a go on here just to see what it what, what difference it makes. Um, so here I'm going to do a old crypt. Uh, yeah, I'll do one of those. And then I'll do a, one of those. So for here, um, like the, this little thing here has got two things that it can do. So it can halve the speed uh, that enemies can travel by road by getting a hurricane along. Or I could do a lightning strike which causes to all dam uh, damage to enemies all around uh, a certain area. So each map has like its own little nuances and fun. Uh, every time you play something on standard it's 10 waves, then it goes to 15, then 20, then 25, uh, but the characters are always much stronger. So first time round I didn't have these set of characters going through. Of course you've got the speeding up and slowing down of waves here, should you want to. Oh! I don't want to rewind. Oh, okay, it's going to be sped up for the whole thing. Great. Just, just what I wanted. Let's put in a sorcerer. And you get more coins, obviously, for going f to the next phase faster whenever you can. Let's make them better. 
I find that the ability to be able to keep people all in one place is mega handy. Or Get rid of the healer. That is always the thing with these. When it, when a he when a healer comes along, <laughs> you know it. Anyone that's played tower defense, get rid of the goddamn healer. Which is the only problem sometimes when you've got those skeletons there, because then they'll bunch them all together, and you're like, stop healing everybody. the cannon. Like, really want to upgrade the cannon, plus. Is that gonna get caught on his way around? I think he is. Yeah, he'll be fine. He'll be dead. He'll be dead. That's all good. Right, upgrade that cannon. although it's slow, I find that it's actually mega mega effective. As is those to be fair. Everything's effective actually. I'd say that um, everything is really really well balanced. Um, I try to not use the lizard to slow people down if possible. Just because I'm such a... I prefer to have firepower but I can absolutely see why it's useful. Um, and in the level that it's introduced, they make it very, like, clear that it's quite a mandatory thing to have. Oh, no, 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 no. Well, that was closer than a close thing. Sorry, that went really weird. It wouldn't let me touch anything for a while. Random bug. Okay, so some things have gone through now. That's rather annoying. Let's get a lizard out just for... just for show. Dang it. Ah, oh, well. This is all about showing you the game. It's not showing you about doing it well. <laughs> I didn't even know you could speed it up and after then pay to get it sped back down again. So clearly trying to make catch you out a wee bit. So you can see that like slowing down stuff that it's doing there. of that. Um, and then you can see the crown comes along and that's essentially the final boss wave. So let's, let's bring out the guy. You can see they visually look different and better when they upgrade and do things. Let's put you back. <laughs> back you go laddie, back you go. Let's upgrade you again. 
right, so I'm going to sell that. Oh, it doesn't give me enough still. Dang it. Back you go. <laughs> um, and then again, let's do the hurricane. Just stopped him doing stuff. Got a steam achievement for that as well. So I think I'll only get, yeah, I'll only get two because people got through because I was having a bit of a technical issue with my mouse. <clears throat> but yeah, absolutely thoroughly enjoying it. It's just a really good traditional tower defence that reuses very... N it, it looks pretty, it reuses themes that are quite common throughout the tower defence stuff, but I really like that mix of the RPG stuff in the upgrades. You've got a library where you can um, talk about your enemies, you've got all of your towers here, and you can see like the little tree that they've got for each one, so I've nearly unlocked it all. Uh, progress with your stream achievements because that's a thing, clearly. There's quite a lot of stream achievements going on. Statistics. So I've only been playing for an hour and a half. But I immediately was like, I like this game. Oh, 225 stars. There we go. So that tells you how many levels there are. Nicely done. So, plenty of stuff to be had, because I'm only 25 stars in. So what's that, 10% of the way there, nearly? So, should I do one more level? Yeah, let's do one more. Let's try somewhere new. Oh, let's do chaos on here then. Oh, hang on, actually, beforehand, because we've just we've just we've just earned some stuff. Let's spend it in the upgrades. Now the bog one. Uh, no, I don't want critical chance on that. What's that? Increase the teleportation distance by five percent. Oh, let's extend McHellman's battle time by 10%. That sounds like a good call. I've not got whatever that is yet. Um, let's reduce the cost to none of that. That's kind of me done then. Let's dive into this one, level 2, and let's do chaos! So I'll get a 150 thing bonus for surviving, which is good. Those mouths! <laughs> uh, so this is where it introduced the... Uh, there we go, that'll do. It's where it introduced the lizard in this one but again I'm not going to try and use it where possible because you've got limited space around here to really work with and try and upgrade my big boofery cannon. Firepower all the way. That was a very easy wave. Next. Hmm, I'm not liking what's coming though. So let's do a that. Oh, I can't do it. Right, let's stick him in. Sort them all out whilst I've got no coins. Send the next wave in quick. Oh, I'm almost I was almost tempted to sell that, but I think it I think it will be okay where it is. Well, I 
I will do though is have a crypt in there because then that will keep people if I need to po use the poisonous bubble in the bog. That then poisons the air around the circle. So then people are like, ah, uh, choking, dying, dead. Actually probably saying those types of things as well. Who knew? Who knew? And the archers are being pwned by mine. Let's upgrade him. I like the music as well. Jaunty battle Irish folk. Can't beat it. What have we got down here? Okay, we've got a couple. Where, where, where? Nearly dead, nearly dead. Thank you. Oh, stop trying to heal yourself and everyone around you. Making you all special and stuff. Come on, pull out a rabbit from a hat. Back you go. I think we'll get you out again. Good, bad, whatever. I, I have to be a summer for a trade. Thank you very much. Next wave. That seemed like a wise thing to do. <laughs> he was in bad shape. He needed to go. <laughs> I think they can all go back a bit as well. Where possible. I won't show it yet because I don't need it, need it, need it. Oh, look at what it's doing. The moose. There you go. <laughs> in range. Take him out, take him out. Done. 260 for that. Right, so if I need to use the bog, that does it. And you can see that that now will poison everyone that's in its range quite nicely, so that's good. Now you can see they're starting to get affected with it now. Down goes their beautifully lovely health. We'll do that. And now you're getting an arrow in the knee. You. I'm glad you are, because that looked like he wasn't going to for a second. Upgrade my little man there. Bullying them both. <laughs> There's something slightly sadistic about all um, tower defense types. I think. There we go. Let's upgrade it. Look at look at that. It's practically looking like a nuclear missile now. Um, and then that will give me several other things that I can then play with. So that's one 
30 that will get upgraded. I think that might be worthwhile. Or it might be actually better to go for this one, to be fair, because it covers more radius. There we go. Then it can be quite ninjury. Um, oh, and then it can become a sniper or a bomber. Hmm. Sniper could be quite good. One in. Oh, that's going to. Oh, okay. They're already dead. <laughs> I was going to go. That's going to be horrible, but it's not. <laughs> We're okay. Essentially, because that's so all powerful now. We'll make him a little powerful in a minute as well. Should we send? Yeah, let's send, send the next lot round. It really does reward you for sending stuff early. Uh, I'm going to go for that. Wave! Oh, achievement for sending a hundred waves early. <laughs> right, uh, let's turn him into a sniper. And then even then, these can be upgraded as well, which is amazing. So you can see that there is a really in-depth tree for each of the... Uh, Towers that you've got going on, and I really like that. Let's upgrade our little skeletons again. Nice skeletons. Sniper man's taking you out. Okay, yeah, he's he's gone. Uh, so again, with these little guys down here. I could... No, I don't want to sell it. But I could turn them into the Knight's Grave and summon some Dark Knights. And then that's like the next thing that they can all be upgraded on. So again, I can upgrade those to being something bigger and better again. And now they are proper ninja warriors going for it, which is great. That one was getting a little bit close to the exit. <laughs> I can't be having that. That can't be wave 20, surely. Let's pop him in the middle. Wow, well we're going to get a clean bill of health in the last one, so it shows that I do vaguely know what I'm doing when it comes to tower defence. <laughs> Yay! Three stars. 
a bonus of stuff on crop top of everything else and plenty more to spend and that is essentially evil defenders in a nutshell it does what it does exceptionally well um, I'm giving it two thumbs up from a tower defense man point of view I do love a bit of tower defense um, I'm having great fun with this so um, that's all today from High Plane Games my name is Simon you guys will take care and I shall see you very soon on another video on YouTube. Doodles!